It can save precious seconds, and those seconds could be the difference between life and death. The much-talked-about TCI 911 system is set to go. Street signs are going up in some of the communities, and all of the equipment is already in place. And today marks a milestone for the 911 operators, who were sworn in as special constables by Commissioner of the Royal Turks and Caicos Islands Police Force, Edward Hall. I, I, Annette Solomon, do swear. Do swear that I will be faithful. That I will be faithful and bear true allegiance. And bear true allegiance to Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II. To Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II. Her heirs and successors. Her heirs and successors. According to law. According to law. So help me God. So help me God. I. Do swear. That I will well and truly serve. A sovereign lady, the queen. Lady, the, the office of special constable. And the office of special constable. Without favor or affection. Without favor or affection. Malice or ill will. Malice or ill will. And that I will cause. And that I will cause. Her Majesty's peace. Her Majesty's peace. To be kept and preserved. To be kept and preserved. So, and and that, that I will prevent. And that I will prevent. To the utmost of my power. To the utmost of my power. All offenses against the same. All offenses against the same. And that while I shall continue to hold. And that while I shall continue to hold. The said office. The said office. Or any other office. Or any other office. In the Royal Tax and Caicos Islands Police, Force, Police Force, Force. I will. I will. To the best of my skill and knowledge. To the best of my skill and knowledge. Discharge all the duties thereof. Discharge all the duties thereof. Faithfully according to law. Faithfully according to law. So help me God. So help me God. 911 program manager Juliet Gooding said this is a proud moment for the group and it's been a long road. But I am very, very proud of them and I want the people of the Turks and Caicos Islands to know that they have a very good bunch of people working for them who are going to be there for them. They're disciplined, they're committed and they're making a lot of sacrifices because when everybody is at home resting, they will be working. And as of Sunday, February 7th, the 911 operators or special constables would put all of the training to good use. Working with a system similar to a state-of-the-art scheme used in the U.S., the 911 unit has trained operators that are certified in fire response, emergency dispatch, and law enforcement. Also known as the Bible of a 911 center, the team has a guide card. These cards have all the pre-arrival instructions like CPR instructions and other emergency techniques. Training will be ongoing by 911 supervisors and police officers. Gooding said the goal is to recruit more operators as time goes on. For WIV4 News, I'm Takara Bain.